Hi, I'm Johannes. I'm again here for you. And this time I'm going to talk about pulsation dampeners because pulsation is one of my favorite subjects. And I'm going to show you what a how a pulsation dampener works and where you're going to use it for. So let me try to explain what pulsation is. Pulsation is an effect of volume displacement and a fast volume displacement. So for example, if I have a pump that is pumping it, say, nicely in the direction of the discharge, it's pumping it away. And for a, for a split moment when this pump stops, all this liquid wants to come back to the pump. And that is giving a pressure peak. Yeah. Now, the faster I will stop a pump, the higher this pressure peak is going to be. And the same can happen in a line where I have like gas pockets, where the gas wants to push the liquid really fast back. And for that, you know, we have the shock absorber. So in a pump that has a pulsating, you know, a way of pumping, for example, a hose pump or an AODD pump, which is very pulsating. And we can also see that on the pump. If we look at the pressure gauge, it will go up, down, up, down, up, down. And that means that that flow always wants to go back to the pump. Now, this, of course, we can solve with a pulsation dampener. We can make that a very steady flow. And in centrifugal pumps where we have the water hammer, where the fluid is coming back to the pump, we can avoid this fluid hitting the pump by absorbing it with a pulsation dampener. Now on this picture that I have here, let's take a look. I, we see a multi-stage centrifugal pump and we see the nice green unit, which is the pulsation dampener. Now, how does that work inside? Let's take a look at our, say, animation, because I can explain a lot more on the animation. So we just saw the picture with um, the multi-stage pump and a nice green vessel. Here we have actually exactly that type of vessel, and it's not green, it's an animation, but let me tell you how it works. Here we see on the left side, we see a pulsating flow. And that could be, you know, a pump that is pulsating. Yeah. So let's assume this is a hose pump and the pump pumps, stops, pumps, stops the nature of the pump. And with that, we get, you know, also different pressure and different flow. And you can see that in the pattern of the liquid. And it is a very nice waveform. So the moment, you know, we have a high point, that means a lot of liquid and a low point, that means there's no pressure. And that goes inside the dampener and from the dampener, it goes to the outlet, to the discharge. Now, when it goes into the dampener with a high pressure, with a high flow, yeah, that means it pushes up the diaphragm to the upper part. Now, the moment that we do not have the flow, also the pressure will be low. And very nicely, then the pressure in the chamber above the diaphragm in the dampener is going to be higher. This results that it's moving the diaphragm down. And with that, it's reducing the volume of liquid in the dampener and it's pushing it to the discharge. Now, the nicer result of that is that on the discharge side, we will get a constant flow or a nearly constant flow. And we can see that also that the waves in the discharge are now a lot less. Yeah, And that is how the dampener is working. So now we have seen what a pulsation dampener can look like, and we also have seen how it works, but where are we going to use it for? Well, let me explain or talk about a few applications. Number one, if we see that the piping in a plant, in a factory, is banging and making a lot of noise left and right, that means that we can really destroy 
the fasteners and we can even destroy the pump. So we don't want the pipes to be shaking and making a lot of noise. It can be, you know, not only an equipment problem, but it can also become a safety problem. So we have to really take care of that part. Now, there's also if, and that's on the outer part of the piping and, and the physical, but we could also have that we want to solve the pulsation because we want to have a very steady flow. For example, if we want to transfer liquid into buckets yeah we want to have you know all the buckets equally full so you must have for that a very steady flow and not a pulsating flow and think about for example an application where you want to put plaster on a wall yeah you have a say an uh, a positive displacement pump and you have a very viscous material and if you have a pulsating flow it comes out blop blop blob we don't want that we want to have a nice steady flow coming out of it with that you use a pulsation dampener now this is for positive displacement pumps important now but there's also a site for centrifugal pumps in centrifugal pumps we very often have the water hammer and we don't want this water hammer this ticking noise um, in the middle of the night when we turn on or off our um, uh, uh, water to the radiators. We want this to be nice and quiet so that we can have a good uh, night sleep, a good rest. So for that, it's important that we have a good functioning water hammer uh, solver, the pulsation dampener. So here we see a few of the applications and now with that if you have any question remaining please leave a comment you know ask your question um, don't hesitate yeah and push that button like subscribe and we're going to see you soon again